Well, focusing now on your forecast, KDK First Alert meteorologist Ron Smiley is joining us to tell us the party is over. Yes, it's <laughs> it's cold time outside. Hopefully you can bundle up the plants if you've already planted them. And, and you know, it's, you're really in trouble if uh, after being out yesterday, if now you're just seeing that the party is over. <laughs> you know? Yeah, the party ended. Yeah, yeah right. yesterday yeah. at it's least. Like, yeah, the light, the house lights have been on for like 30 minutes. At this point. <laughs> it's you know? time to get like, out. Right. Yeah, at some point you just got to take the hit. 37, your temperature right now. Yeah, we only hit 45 yesterday for Iowa. It was a chilly start. Uh, chilly day yesterday. We're going to be cold again today. Winds are calm out there. Uh, wind chill is the same, obviously because the winds are calm. Uh, we call it a uh, feels like here, but the wind chill uh, is the same as the actual temperatures. Winds will pick up. They'll be between 10 to 15 miles an hour this afternoon, but at least this morning they're expected to be pretty light. Here's a look at those temperatures for you now. Zealy and Opal 37, 37 in Irwin. Hey, it's 33 in Connellsville, 32 in Greensburg. I am going to point out places in the ridges and the laurels. You actually do have advisories and warnings in place this morning. Everyone else will have to wait until tomorrow for uh, seeing that. Hey, we do have some light drizzle, probably just in the way of some light sprinkles in Greene County at this point. Some of that technically is over around the uh, southern parts of Washington County, just south of I-70. And you can see in the Morgantown area, it's both a mix of rain, maybe even some wet snowflakes down there moving through right now. This is all because of this big spin in the atmosphere and this trough. You can see the trough that's sitting right there. But it's overall because of an upper low that is sitting right on top of Toronto and Canada. And that's where it's going to be most of the week. As it is, well, our weather is going to be on the cool side uh, for the next couple of days. So light rain, some uh, drizzle possible today. Best chance for that comes this afternoon. Cold air in place for the next seven days. Freezing temperatures also expected on Tuesday morning. Uh, right here, or at least we'll be flirting with freezing temperatures right here in the Pittsburgh area. Most places should find themselves right at or even below 32 degrees. So let's take it through the day. I do want to again point out that we do have those advisories in place for higher elevations today. Everyone else is tomorrow. High temperatures today will be back into the 40s by midday. This is at noon. You can see the drizzle kind of come again. Best chance for that's north of I-70. 44 in Pittsburgh temperature right there at 48. That's where I'm forecasting for a high, by the way, should be reached between about four and six o'clock this afternoon, partly to mostly cloudy skies. We clear out with our skies overnight. Look at these overnight temperatures. I actually have Pittsburgh dropping all the way down to around 30 degrees. So we do have freeze watches in effect. The freeze watches are for Tuesday morning. Now any of the frost advisories and the freeze warning that we have that's for this morning, and that goes all the way up until 8 o'clock this morning. Here's your seven day 48 today, your high, 55 your Tuesday high, and a Wednesday high of 57 degrees. But that only tells part of the story. Look at those morning lows. Hey, we're in the 30s all the way through Thursday, and we have a better chance for some rain heading into your weekend Friday and Sunday.